grab something to eat and get ready for a fun day doing the range test on the Juice Rip Racer 52 volt 15.6 amp hour battery 750 watt motor. Now we're keeping it in mode three today, all day. And we'll be doing a lot of throttle up to 20. Past 20, we'll have to be doing pedal assist. I have not attached the Juice Rip Racer off-road controller today. I took it off the other day because I'm gonna do a few more tests without the controller before permanently attaching it to the Juice Rip Racer. The new off-road controller is nice. I'll give you a hint. I could get over 30 miles an hour on it. I weigh 165. I'm six foot three. Probably ever more around six foot two now that I'm getting older. That's a little joke I like to say. But this bike fits me perfect. And I understand it's a BMX bike, so you're not getting on a mountain bike. You're not getting on a road bike, a bigger frame bike. It's a smaller frame bike. That it handles me just fine. The torque on this thing's amazing, especially in race mode. Now, I'm not going to talk a lot about race mode today, except for the fact that it's awesome. Uh, the torque is highly increased, but it does uh, run your battery down quite significantly, a lot faster. All right, as we're swinging in through here, looks like we've got a new. A new paved road here, which is so nice. Look at this. The bike path is all new and nice. We got more bike trail coming up that they are adding on, connecting. Men turn to Vail. Men turn to Eagle Vail and Avon. Eagle Vail and Avon to Vail and Eagle Vail and Avon to Men turn. <laughs> so these bike trails are intense. Uh, but getting back, if any manufacturers want to try a real range test with me, bring it. If any of you manufacturers just want me to do some reviews, you want me to throw a bike and want me to do some 250, 500, 1,000, 1,500, 2,000 mile reviews, throw me your bike. I would love to review your bikes. Uh, I'm growing, so you might as well hit me up now while I'm early and young at this because I'm gonna grow, I'm not going anywhere. I've got a lot of adventures to go on and hopefully, one of you guys would throw me another e-bike. This Juice Rip Racer's been awesome, so let's get back to it. All right, as we go through here, so this little, the first little part of our journey here, <laughs> so, but the first little part of our journey here, looks like we're gonna go about six and a half miles on the first leg, and we will continue after that. So let's remember the magic number of six and a half miles that's what it's showing on the range here on my GPS. We're cruising about 26 miles an hour. As you can see, the GPS and the speedometer on the bike are incredibly accurate. The GPS shows that this bike's speedometer is 100% accurate. I mean, it's nailing it. Every time that we hit a number, the GPS hits it too, so it's super accurate. There's my fishing hole. All right. We're getting ready to pull up to the old Casa here, coming from Vail. We've done six and a half miles by the time we get to the house. On our range test, we're looking at right around 56 volts still left on the battery. Again, the range test of the Juiced Rip Racer 52 volt, 15.6 amp battery with a 750 watt rear hub motor. There is nobody out this morning except for the bears and the mountain lions, I'm sure. All right, so here we go, boys and girls. We'll get an exact range that we've went this morning on our Juiced Rip Racer and its range test and review. Super great bike. Super happy with it. It looks super cool. Uh, I don't really have a lot of complaints about it. The only complaints I've ever had about it is not being able to throttle past 20 from stock and the squeaky brake pads. Those are easy fixes now with the controller. So here we are, and we will continue here in a little bit to the farmer's market. See you soon, boys and girls. Ooh. 
and we are back YouTube adventure family to continue the range test of the juiced rip racer 52 volt 15.6 amp hour battery 750 watt motor here we go uh, I'll take the bike path this round. Put both ways, and here we go. Okay, so here we are back along the banks of the Mighty Eagle River. We are headed to Minturn, Colorado, a very famous town. Back in the day, it was home to a lot of farmers, a lot of miners, just a super cool town. I lived there for the better part of seven years. And there's Route 6. Route 6 is an awesome place to eat. If you're into food, there's many places, Tiamas. Uh, Route 6 is a great place that I really enjoy. We've got Darwin's little place right there with the food cart. You could get some really good Honduran food. It's amazing, right across from Sherwin Williams Paint Store. It is a beautiful day, as you can see. We are headed to Minturn, Colorado, along this wonderful bike path they made a couple years ago. It is amazing. You do have to be careful because still the locals even are still trying. Oh, dead magpie! Imagine that. <laughs> there you go, Vicky. A dead magpie. Anyways, that's another story for another day. There's the eco transit system. We have a great bus system here. The one in Vail, the town of Vail, that is, is the largest free uh, transportation network system bus, whatever, west of the Mississippi. This is really nice. Oh man, what a wonderful, pleasant surprise to have a new paved bike path going to the Minturn Market this morning. I mean, it smells new. Good morning. Yeah, check this out. They are doing some wonderful work. Here we are doing the review on the Rip Racer. We are doing the range test on the Juiced Rip Racer. 52 volt. 15.6 amp hour battery and a 750 watt motor but check this out this is meadow mountain uh, going up through here it used to be a big ski resort back in the day or not a big one but just a small one Vale bought it out and then gave the land back to blm uh, for public use so a lot of skinning recreational stuff going on up there snowmobiling etc goes on through here this area through here also meadow mountain was really famous for its lettuce production back in the day here's the railroad that grabbed the lettuce the onions the potatoes the sheep all that stuff coming up that way as you can see the ridge line going into cougar ridge which is where lion's head rock is game creek coming down entering the eagle river headed towards minturn pass there is red cliff then leadville going over tennessee pass into the high city and the United States of America, which is Leadville. A lot of history there with the miners, the 10th Mountain Division, with the Army, Riva Ridge in France, beating the Germans. Jeez, that was a mouthful. Anyways, we are headed to the Farmer's Market in Minturn. Let's go. Seems it has We're jamming and getting some jam. How nice is with this? this hey. Oh man, this is calling my name. Good, how are you doing? Let's see, what do you got here today? Yes, I see that you've got some. Ooh, looky here. So, do you have blackberry or blueberry? I have blueberry and I have trickleberry, which is blackberry, blueberry, and raspberry. Oh, well, how yummy. I'm from East Tennessee, so I'm used to that blackberry. But uh, yeah, if you have some. If you have some blueberry, I'll take that today, I think. 
that sounds magnificent. How much do you? That sounds perfect. Uh, I'm gonna put it in my backpack, so I won't need a bag today, and you can save it for maybe somebody that will need it. If they do. There you go. Thank you so much, girls. Yeah, where does this come from? It comes from, I live right down the street. I used to live here. I lived here for yeah, seven years on Pine Street. Oh, did you? Yeah. I lived on the, the Cypher's old house, that cabin on 597. Absolute pleasure. Yeah, thank you so much. All right. We got the jam and listening to the jams. Perfect. Perfect day. Now we'll ride by my old place since I'm not there no more. That's magnificent. Simply magnificent. Check it out. And I'll show you where I used to live in the little town of Minturn. We'll drive down through the main part through here. There's not as many businesses going through here as that first part with Magusto's and the saloon and Minturn Trout Outfitters and all that, but you do get Rocky Mountain Tacos, you get my favorite place, Kirby Cosmos, that Mark and his wife Emily own. It's just super awesome little town. Our little corner store here is just awesome. And as you come down through here, a little ice cream shop used to be there. I don't know if it is anymore. It used to be a wing place there, really good place to eat wings, but there's other things. But right here is Kirby Cosmos, super awesome place. Love Kirby Cosmos. So there's like the better part of Minturn. And then as we go up here, you'll see I used to live right up here. Uh, beautiful home there. I did a ton of woodwork on this home. That is Greg and Melanie Dennis or Melanie Dennis's house. Beautiful place. I did so much work for years and years, and I lived right there where I didn't have to go very far. Super awesome area. Uh, so we'll drive down through here. Friend Lisa and Richard Fox. Oh my gosh, I got to stop here for a second. What is up, buddy? <laughs> I've seen you in a long time. What is up, my brother? You're doing good, huh? Uh, you I'm you're just doing. Here? I'm just doing. Yeah, I'm living in Eagle Vale now. I got my uh, place over there. Okay. Foxy, what is up, baby girl? It's been so long. Oh my gosh, look at you. <laughs> look at you, baby girl. Oh my gosh. You know, I've known uh, Richard. Yeah. During the day, is that, that disc on that side right there? Yeah. That gets, like in the morning, it's all in shade, and then all of a sudden around 10.30, it looks like that. So that's wow. 10, that's 10.44. So you're able to basically use that as a clock. I can use that as a clock. Richard, good seeing you, dude. Yeah, it was good seeing you, too. Again, Damn, pleasure, man, again. Nice to meet you. Yeah, Chris. you too, man. Have a good one, man. Thank I'll you. see you around, I'm Thank sure. You. Yep, I'll see you some other time, Richard, because uh, I think Steve and I are going to go hiking. And here we go, boys and girls. We are at 13.4 13 miles. We are, see the volts here. I could turn it on, right? I'm the malfunction. We are at 54, 53.9, we'll say 53.9 volts. We have went 13.4 miles. Let's continue the range test of the juiced rip racer. How cool is that? Seeing some old friends, the old neighborhood. What a glorious day ladies and gentlemen there's some e-bikes everybody on their e-bike right. we will see 
if we could make it home on the battery. What a great day. Super, super awesome. So we're actually going to take the highway back home here to complete the range test and just kind of mix up kind of what we're riding on. This is much, much smoother, obviously. So, as you can see, this is a beautiful place along the Eagle River. It's a wonderful town. It's grown a lot since I've lived there, and I'm sure it's grown a lot since the back in the day in the history of Minturn, USA. But you can see it's just gorgeous out today. Oh. All right, so we're going to continue riding down Highway 6 here. It looks like a lot of people are hiking up Meadow Mountain. Some great places down there. We've got the Vail Mountain Coffee and Tea Company. Absolutely amazing. Got the top down. Look at that. Nice, dude. What a great day. You guys at the Juice are awesome. Thank you so much for making such a great bike. I bought this bike. I think February or March or sometime, and I've got 1,600 miles or more on it now. Let's see here. Yeah, 1,557 miles on this e-bike now, and I've had not one issue at all, guys. It'd be really, really cool if you all would send me another bike to review, and if not, maybe another manufacturer would be interested in sending me a bike to review or use on the channel and promote like I have the Juicer Bracer. We're headed through Dow Junction that way. And when we get back, we will sum up the test and review of the Juiced Rip Racer range test and review. Right now, we are at 52.4 volts in mode three. We have went 15.77 miles. Our high speed's 28 miles. Average speed's been nine and we've done multiple terrains. This is gonna be a very good range test. So let's get back on the road and see where we end up. Anyway, we're gonna cruise through here. It's a cool little spot. Sometimes there's some wildlife, so I'll keep an eye out. I have seen bears. There have been bones back here too, which tells you that things have been feeding. A guy does some art back here every once in a while, but it looks like a lot of that's not back here right now, but we're going to cruise back here and wrap up the review of the Juice Rip Racer e-bike. It's got some sculptures going on. This is a really cool area right here to wrap this all up, boys and girls. Uh. How much range did we get? Well, ladies and gentlemen, let's go look at the real numbers. So it looks like we went 18.4 miles. Uh, top speed was 24 miles, average nine. We rode a lot of bike path and off-road actually. We're turning this on here. And it looks like we're at 51.4 volts. So that would give us a range probably close to in mode three. That's in the middle, so we're not in sport or race mode, but we're not in eco or one or two either. We're in the middle. I think that's a really good um, mode for this bike. We're in the middle here, so it's super, super nice. So, saying all that, we're about 24, 25 miles would be our range on this e-bike in mode three with maybe a little bit to spare to be on the safe side. I am 6'3", 165 pounds. That has a lot to do with it. Again, I only pedaled, really like gave any kind of effort, effort when it was over 20 miles and it was really a lot of ghost pedaling. So I can't really say that I pedaled hard or a lot. A lot of it was just throttle or just ghost pedaling for the most part. So I don't think I was helping the bike a whole lot besides just getting the cadence sensor kicked in to get that over 20 mile per hour movement and speed on this bike. Again, I have put new tires. The, the Speedster Vs are amazing. Uh, I've got new handlebars, new handle grips. 
a new seat, and that's really a new suit and new pedals. That's about it. This bike is amazing. It is incredible. I love my e-bike. Incredible. But yeah, that will wrap it up for us here at the Colorado Adventure Channel. If any manufacturers or companies out there would love me to do some reviews or tests on their e-bikes as well out here in the most beautiful part of the world and one of the most friendliest e-bike places in the world, send me an e-bike. I'd love to do a review for you. Uh, if you want me to do a range test, like a really good 65 mile range test on a bike path going from Frisco near Breckenridge, Colorado, through Copper, over Vail Pass, through Vail, through Beaver Creek, going through Glenwood Canyon to Glenwood Springs, it's about 65 miles. If you'd like me to do a range test on one of your e-bikes that have the dual batteries or supposedly goes 105 miles or whatever, send me one of your e-bikes. We'll see what it could do. If you want to do a hill test right up here, we have Whiskey Hill. You can see my video of Whiskey Hill Challenge. If you think your bike can climb a hill, what newton meters does it really have? Send me an e-bike. I'll do a review. Again, the Juice Rip Racer. Class 3, 52 volt, 15.6 amp hour battery with a 750 watt motor. Remarkable. Absolutely remarkable. Has exceeded all expectations. The bike has not given me one issue at all. Uh. Y'all up to the challenge, everybody else? Juiced was. Anyways, hope everybody has a good day. This is Chris from the Colorado Adventure Channel to our next adventure. Until then, peace.